Our next guest is Louisiana Attorney General Liz Murrell. She's here to react to some of what I just laid out. General Murrell, thank you so much for joining us. Well, it's great to be with you, Chanel. You have, uh, you've just taken office. You took office in January. Um, how's Louisiana, how's Louisiana doing on the legal battles front? Well, we've been busy. Uh, and, you know, my I took over the job from the person who I'd worked for. Attorney General Jeff Landry is now the governor. And so one of the first things that I asked him to do and that he did was sign an executive order that directed all of the agencies in government under his supervision and, and those under other statewides to the extent that, that we could get them to, to collect data to see exactly and be able to quantify the cost to state government um, of all of this, this extremely flawed immigration policy and failure to enforce our immigration laws by the federal government. Yeah, and you you got him to sign that. It was an incredible executive order. Uh, I don't know of any other state that's quite doing this. And this order will require the head of every executive branch to throughout the state of Louisiana to capture certain data, right, in order to determine the the costs that the state is having to incur due to these illegal migrants. Uh, it's just what I was talking about in this monologue earlier. I don't think any other state is really keeping track of those numbers. Well, you know, we know it costs us significant amounts of money. It costs us in our state share of Medicaid dollars. It costs us in our public uh, education system. And it costs us in our criminal justice system. And so, you know, it is important that we collect as much data as we can. When I go to court to challenge these policies, I have to be able to prove that there is an impact to the state of Louisiana in order to be able to stay in court. And so it, it was something that we did not have the cooperation um, on from the prior governor. And now that Governor Landry is, uh, is sitting in the governor's chair, I can get that cooperation and it helps us to challenge these, uh, these, these policies. That's also a great point. Uh, I think people underestimate the power that uh, resides in the ability to work for an attorney general to work with their governor, because so many so many things can be stopped or pro or promoted depending on that relationship. And uh, what kind of pushback have you gotten since since that executive order was signed? Well, none. We had no pushback. Uh, you know, we we generally, I think, most of our citizens are very concerned about the policies that have been coming out of Washington. I get calls all the time from people who are concerned about uh, immigration and migrants being bused into their towns. And, you know, whether it's right. whether it's happening in their town or not, they, they want to know and they want to know what the impact is to their pocketbooks. And, and it affects all of the taxpayers in Louisiana. So um, it also affects our voting rights. I mean, we, we see these people being brought into other states and it increases their population for the census count, which will affect our representation in Congress. So there's a very direct correlation between this immigration policy and our elections. There absolutely is. And I guess, um, I, I don't know how this would work, but how, how often would you be able to collect data from, from the, exec, this, the results of this executive order? Is this something that you find out every, at the end of the year? Or is there a set period of time that you get results back, data back? Well, no, it's really just a function of the, the operations of each agency. And so they are supposed to be segregating and collecting that data um, so that we can isolate it. And it, it really falls under the direction of the office of the governor to make sure that they are complying with his order. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.